Yes, my name is Lord Marogar, and I am interviewing for the position of first boss of Ice Crowd Citadel. Okay, Mr. Marogar. Well, first things first, I'm going to ask you a couple questions, uh, and just answer them at your own convenience. Uh, my first question is, how did you become a minion of the Scourge? Ah, yes, it was a brilliant day, the day that I turned to the Scourge. You see, I was but a mere lad. Um, when I was in grade school, I was always quite large. Much larger than the other children, and this persisted through my high school years, as well as my college days. I got into some experimentations in college with drinking and drugs, especially with LSD. It was some good shit, I must say. I had a bad trip one day, and I decided it would be a good thing to do to break into the King's Castle at Stormwind. He didn't like that too much, and he decided to cut me down. Unfortunately for me, this was actually not when the king was there and when Anixia and Bova were, and she did some fiery breath thing, and a couple of us all got melted together, which is why I have three heads. Needless to say, I did not survive that encounter. I didn't want to cut you off, but don't you have four heads? Yes, I do have four heads, but the one in the left, my left, that is, isn't exactly the brightest of them all, so I usually don't even include it. Okay, so moving on then. Next question is, how well does Bonestorm work with the ladies? Ah, yes. You see, before I decided to brazenly storm into Stormwind Keep, I was an adult entertainer. I won't go too much into detail, but I will have you know that I was quite popular amongst the menage a trois. You see, I would give my bone to many a fair maiden. <laughs> Therefore, you can see where Bone Storm has derived from. In my skirt life, though, or on life, rather. There is not much hope for the bone storm. For you see, only occasionally do I get to use it with the ladies, as most of those who enter my master's domain are middle-aged or teenaged men living in their parents' basement. Ah, so you were an adult entertainer before your unfortunate incident. So you must have gotten a lot of attention from the ladies having four heads and all. Your oral giving abilities must be astounding. Like I said, I was quite prominent in the use of the menage a trois videos. Well, you see, I never fail to perform adequately. But enough talk about my sex life. I know you have some more serious questions for my resume. As, um, yes, let's move on then, please. Right, right. Um, okay, so a little more of a serious question. What do you do in your spare time, Mr. Lord Marogar? Ah, uh, yes, my spare time. Well, currently, aside from searching to be a raid boss, I enjoy many of things. Personally, I enjoy 
Ferengiking questers. I find that to be quite fun, but aside from the whole Warcraft aspect of it, I really enjoy knitting. You see, it does get quite cold here in the frozen wastelands of Northrend. I like to knit myself sweaters and gloves and booties and socks to keep myself warm when the temperature just becomes frigid. And aside from swinging my big axe around, I highly enjoy being a knife thrower at a magician's show. Although for me a knife is about the size of a twelve foot sword compared to you mortals. I really enjoy throwing it around. Sometimes I don't catch it and it will hit one of my heads. You can also see why I said my left head isn't the brightest. It tends to fall mostly on that head if I fail to catch it. And one other activity that I enjoy is peekaboo. Although it's quite hard when you have four heads, and none of them will shut up, it makes it very hard to... How do I say... peek a I, I don't really know. All I know is that I enjoy peek very much so. Okay, so we kind of reviewed your profile a little bit, Mr. Marigar. And we noticed that your your main move, Bone Storm, um, when you do it, you only move in a straight line. Why, why do you only move in a, a straight line? Why don't you, like, choose one person to follow around and kill them? Or uh, just move in circular directions? Or, you know, can you give us a little insight as to why you only move in a straight path? Ah, yes, it is brought up quite a bit. You see, even my left hand likes to ask this question. Uh, but you see, the way that my body works is that while I am the voice of all of us, um, I still have to put up with the minds of all of us. So you see, what I am actually spinning as a whirling dervish, trying to find a target to smash down. You see, I go after who I want to, and then the right head goes after who he wants to, and then the mother head that I didn't make that goes after who he wants to. So you see, it's not like in that uh, Spider-Man 2 movie where Dr. Octagonopus gets controlled by the tentacle things and then he goes all into New York and starts stealing money. I actually have to conflict with the the different minds inside this bony frame of skeletal being that I call myself. Does that answer your question or would you like me to further go into detail? No, no, that that will do. Um last question, this is kind of a filler for the very end here. What is your prediction on the weather? The weather? I don't understand what it is that you mean. You know, like, are we gonna get rain, snow, is it gonna be sunny, cloudy, uh, like that. Oh, I see. Hmm, well, in, in that, that case... I predict a 100% chance of... BOOM STOP!